found out I'm wearing the Victoria's Secret fantasy bra. I can't believe I'm wearing it. And I wanted to show you what my beauty look is gonna be in this. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing I start with doing my makeup is probably some eye drops, just to wake up the eyes. Especially wearing this bra, you kind of want your eyes to sparkle. My eyes are always red because I always wait, my cats wake me up a lot. When I go to work, unless I do this, I have red eyes. I have two cats and they run my life. They're called Woody and Sanu and he's a boy, she's a girl and he's totally obsessed with her. It's really cute. Some lip balm just to moisturize. Eyelash curler. You know, as a Victoria's Secret angel, you definitely need really long and thick lashes. So this is our best friend. I think before I became a VS angel, I never used to wear a lot of makeup. And then I got older and I realized a little makeup goes a long way. But um, I'm kind of all about the natural look anyway. And then for shoots, I think it's really fun to like push it. So next, I like to do some concealer. And I like to use two different colors because you sort of want some darker areas and like some lighter inside. So I go with my lighter color and I just put it little doot doot doot. And then I go with my darker color, just kind of on the outside. So like a little bit like it might not seem that I know what I'm doing, but I kind of do. <laughs> I don't know, it just shades your face. It just makes you like a little contoured. You really want to blend it like really well. And I love to use this new sponge. It's so perfect because it really gets in there. See how easy that is? Kind of major. My skin is not flawless, by the way. It's, I really struggle with um, bad skin a lot. I just try to, you know, when I have an important shoot and stuff, I try to eat really healthy and just be, you know, stay away from dairy and things that will clog pores and, you know, any like toxins. And I, I love skincare, so I really like, I cleanse twice, I do the whole thing, I never sleep with makeup. Um, but I really believe it's all like what you eat and like what you put from the inside that really shows up on your skin. I still get acne all the time though from stress and like not sleeping and you know wearing too much makeup and stuff so it's hard. All right you guys so I think the most important part of this look is to add a lot of shimmer just to pick up the sparkles of the bra so I'm gonna use a lot of highlighter which I'm like obsessed with highlighter. Enough is never enough you just go for it maybe that's crazy but I love it. I like to put it a little bit on my collarbones, especially wearing this bra, because it's so, you know, you want your skin to just be like blending in with the bra and like everything is just like gorgeous and shimmery and fresh. A little bit on the cupid's bow. Next, we're gonna go into some contouring action. The contour is really just very lightly to make the face have some definition, I guess. I learned contouring from makeup artists and everyone does it differently. I just like to put it right under my cheekbone and like keep this part light because I feel like they really pop out. And then I like to put a little under here because like when you do a lot of talking like I'm doing right now, you kind of like, you won't get a double chin. My other favorite thing is to take the brush like this, squeeze it together. So then I put a little like right under my lips and it just like gives you a little pout. I don't know if you can see it, but something like that. Same brush. I take this blush and it's powder. I don't want to use too much because the color looks cray. But I'm just gonna put a little here. Oh, that's pretty. Actually, I like to do a little swoop so it looks like the sun has hit you a little. Okay, check this out. So I think we should go with this one because it looks like diamonds. So I would just take this and put it literally in here to make yeah. it really sparkly. I really love sparkle and shine. So another good trick is to just take it with your finger and press it on the lid. 
It actually make it makes it sparkle more. Yeah, you just go ape shit. <laughs> That's like a really good word for putting makeup on. <laughs> you want it sparkly. Okay, so then I'm gonna go with the darker color mm, and put it inside my eye crease just to like add like a little definition so your eye looks a little bigger. I'm really good at closing one eye. Kind of scary looking. Sorry about that. Blend it all together. With this bra, I feel like I need to add a little bit more of this. So I'm gonna go with a little more yellowy golden color and I'm just gonna like put it in here for like a doe eye effect. This is really good secret for bigger eyes. So if you wanna like open your eyes up and look like you're like a little doll, this is a good Next up, my absolute most important part of any makeup look is the eyebrows. So I'm gonna use this pencil, and it's really great because it creates little hairs versus like, you know, putting too much powder in there. I like it to look natural, and I also, a great way to open up your eyes is to really just fill in up here and just like extend your brows. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just because I've seen myself look so, in so many looks at work, and sometimes you meet people that just dust your eyebrows like, wow, like that changed my whole face. So I've, tr I've tried to really like have those people teach me what they did. I feel like the brow just really sets the tone for the whole face, because it frames your face, the brows. I feel like this will be definitely VS approved this look. Let's do um, eyeliner. I normally start from inside, like right in there, and I just really go very light. I didn't do very well. The good thing with eyeliner, if you mess up, you just add more on top, you know, you just like make it thicker. I always kind of change my look depending on how bad it goes. Like I always strive for a thin line and if I mess up I just make it thicker but this is definitely my favorite makeup look the last part of my look which is mascara because who doesn't want major lashes and I feel like also when you have a really good eyeliner on you don't really need to go crazy with the mascara because it already looks like you have you know that vibe going Okay, what do we think? <gasps> I forgot the lips. Lip pencil. Squeeze it together. I really like to choose, like if either I do lips or I do eyes. Because on me, it gets a little much, because I'm fair. And I always go with an eye, almost always. Unless I'm doing like a red lip, then I'll do like kind of a naked eye. All right. I think I'm pretty much done here. I need to practice a little bit more before I do that. Some major hair. Woo! <laughs>